So this is actually a requested video on how I can make my circular closure. So what does a circular closure looks like? You can buy them from beauty supply stores and online like samsbeauty.com. But this is what it looks like. Um, they are, there are some out there that are a lot more fuller than this, but this was the one that I had from the pack. And before you apply them, you want to make sure that your circle at the top of your wig is very small. So you want to sew in a circular motion until the hole is about fingertip width. Now I'm going to show you how I create it without glue first, but I have about my four fingers length of hair, track hair, and I want to have what is called a snail tail. And what I'm going to do is leave that tail up and I'm going to wrap the hair around in like a flat circular motion. So you can see I still have the little tail in there. And I just keep rolling and pressing until I get a circular closure. So finally here you're going to see me do it with some hair glue. Um, I prefer hair glue because it's a lot easier. Unfortunately it's very messy. But um, as you can see I glued the entire track except for the end that is going to be considered my snail tail and I'm just going to carefully wrap it around making sure the glue is um, getting around the circle part or the you guys see what I'm doing here it's very messy so take your time there's nothing wrong with you reopening and retrying it again the glue does come off very easy off your fingers all you have to do is just kinda like rub your fingers together and the glue will come off but other than that, once you get your snail tail there and you have a circular piece, you just make sure you press it really hard with your fingers. The warmth of your fingers is going to help the glue dry just a little bit more. And then you want to take the closure and try to find the center. And I like this method better because the inside of the track doesn't show through when you find the center of the closure and just use your flat irons and flatten that closure out. Have your small circular closure now you can use more hair than I use but because my closure at the top of my wig was so small it only made sense to make the closure a little bit smaller so it's not so bulky but this is how I install it and it's quite different from what most people do I attach it to the um, weaving cap through the hole and I use needle and thread I just use that little snail tail and I stick it right through the hole and I sew it and attach it to the wig cap. So this is how I attach um, circular closures that I've made myself if I can't find a circular closure that matches the hair texture or I just think it's a lot easier to just use the hair that I already have available to do so. And there you have it your full wig has a closure at the top you can choose to do a banged wig or you can choose to do a side part um, middle parts are not that cute with full wigs in my opinion but this is how I close off my wigs if I'm just using track hair and creating a circular closure other than that if you want to see how this wig turned out make sure you check that video and make sure you check out the video on how you can sew a lot faster I do have a playlist that's called wig making 101 I have tons of videos there check it out and I will see you guys in the next video